Hey guys, this is Ben here, and, t and tonight I'm going to be doing my first movie review on this channel, because, you know, I hadn't done movie reviews, because, you know, mainly I did, you know, I mainly do updates and comparison videos, and and also, like, you know, random other videos uh, that, um, you know, that are related to the video industry, but... I've decided to kind of hold off on that and do my first movie review on this channel, and which is a holiday movie review because, you know, the Christmas season is coming next week. So for this, of course, I'm not going to do movie reviews like uh, every day. I'm not going to do them like daily. I'll just do it like if I want to, like once in a while or so. So, so that's what you, you know, you'll expect. But... So, yeah, but anyways, for, uh, this movie I'll be reviewing, it's a Christmas movie that came out back in 2000. This one's gonna go pretty quick, because, because, uh, it's almost 8.30, it's almost time for bed, for me to go to bed, but this one's gonna go pretty quick. Of course, this holiday film came out in 2000, and it is, and it's also one that we, that, that I watched at school, well, we're still finishing it, but it's one that I watched at school in my, uh, food class um you know at, and you know at, at my school at my high school and other stuff and it is the Jim Carrey version of Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas which is which as you know this is my favorite Christmas movie of all time based on the Dr. Seuss book and the 1966 television special of course I do have this on DVD like how I but I'm, but I'm not going to bother showing the DVD, kind of like how I did it in my top 10 favorite movies video. I only wanted to show the VHS just because the DVD that I do have, it's kind of a... It's in the second row of my drawer and it's kind of a pain to get out and I don't really feel like doing that. So I decided to just pull the tape up, you know, just just for movie review's sake and, and also like top 10 favorite movies list or whatnot. But, but um... But yeah, it's great stuff. Of course, you know, it's got Jim Carrey as the Grinch. As as most of y'all know, it's directed by Ron Howard. So it's basically just like a retelling of the original book, but but, but except with newer characters and newer sub newer things that weren't in the original story. Like the uh the part where we get into the Grinch's backstory, that wasn't in the original book or anything, nor was the Hubilation, but so those parts were kind of added onto this film for timeline, in you know to make the make it into a full story. So, an extended story. So, so that's pretty much, and then everything else is the same. So, you know how it all goes along. So it's still good. Of course, yep. Yeah, this is the first film adaption of The Grinch. I know, I know some people like the original cartoon special better, but but I like this one a little bit more because it's funnier and it has Jim Carrey, and so that's, you know... And also, you know, he was a great comedian at the time. Well, he still is one, but I don't really think he does that many movies anymore, but it's still okay for what it is. You know, he's still a great comedian, you know, Dumb and Dumber, The Mask, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, so, and you know, all that kind of stuff, so, but like I said, we're watching this at school, along with in my math class, which we're watching Home Alone, the original Home Alone movie, which I do have that on VHS, but it's elsewhere, so it's without the case, and it's, my ba and it's in my basement, so I don't really know where it is exactly, but... But it's still all right. I, I actually did see a used copy of Home Alone at the Salvation Army, but I and the second one. But I decided to just get the third one instead, which I know, no, and which I know I, which I know a lot of you ask me why did I get that? Well, just because the collect, you know, because that's what I am. I'm a movie collector and all that, so you know. Anyways, I know this is a movie review, but if you want to show what the tape looks like again, I will show you. Here's the tape with the sticker label. It has to get rewound. I think somebody who must have owned this tape used to watch this tape because, you know, the film reel. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like all the way at the end. So it has to get rewound. 
And also this was a former family video rental where the kids' movies are free. And there's no print date on this tape because of this tape being from Universal. Since Universal did make this movie back in 2000. So, but it still is good for what it is. And so that pretty much basically concludes my movie review on the Jim Carrey version of Dr. Seuss How the Ritual of Christmas. There wasn't really too much to talk about for this one, but it still is good for what it is. And plus, you know, it's my favorite Christmas film of all time, as most of you guys know. And it's also number eight on my top ten favorite movies list. And um, I don't know if I will do a ho another holiday movie review after this, but... I'm not too sure, I probably don't really want to, but maybe I can, but like I said, I'll if I want to, I'll probably do it. But of course, you know, I, I'm I can I'm gonna review other movies as well, not just, you know, the holiday films, like, you know, other films that I like, so So that's what I'm gonna do. But anyways, that's it. That concludes my review of the two thousand version of jo Dr. Seuss How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And Oh, and I forgot to mention, you know, we also have the new Grinch that came out back in 2018, but I'm not going to talk about that, though. But anyways, that's it for my review of this film, and so I'll see you again soon.